Hey everyone, it is Sunday, December 22nd. It is the eve of the eve of Christmas Eve. So, I have a couple of things, cards from all of you. This first one here, isn't that cute? It's from Bonnie at, uh, I think, I think your channel name now is Strawberry Bonnie Crochet. I'll put a link to it below. You should all go subscribe to her. Um, thank you, Bonnie. And Bonnie sent me a couple of stitch markers. I, I thought about, Bonnie, I thought about holding them until Christmas because I don't really have anything to open on Christmas, but I, I couldn't wait. So one has a heart. And one has a little dinosaur, which I think is a T-Rex. So, thank you. Yay! And then, today, well, I didn't check my mail yesterday, so I checked it today. Of course, mail didn't actually come today. And I got a card from the Crafty Floridian. So now I'm, like, fangirling a little bit. I've sent her stuff throughout the year, uh, you know, hats and scarves and stuff for the kids, but uh, I just feel really honored to get a Christmas card from her. So, and she, there's a little something inside the card. I'm just trying to feel what it is. Oh, it's some Christmas earrings! little Santa boots and colors and you know I'm all about the Christmas so whew, I'm supposed to go out to dinner on Christmas Day I will be wearing these and be all decked out Christmassy thank you Billy I'm totally fangirling because you you sent me something so these will go up on my door and hold on a second, I'm going to show you this beautiful card that um, someone sent me that I think is going to like top it for the art cards that are beautiful this year. Hold on. Okay, this card did not come from a YouTuber. This is just from one of my friends, but take a look at this beauty. It must be a famous painting. Uh, but I don't know who, it doesn't say on the card who the painting is. But there's Mary holding the baby Jesus with the lamb. Of course, he's the lamb of God. So, you know, very symbolic. But this one takes the cake for the prettiest cards so far this year. And Linda Crafty, or Linda, just a crochet sister, takes the cake for the funniest card this year. Okay, so a uh, bit of sad news. I had to put the cat to sleep on Friday. It just became obvious that no matter what I was doing to try to help him, he was not responsive. Uh, force feeding wasn't helping him to gain weight. He was still losing weight. And um, yeah, so uh, I told the landlady, uh, I think you need to call the vet, we should put him down. And so he, we put him to sleep on Friday. But the thing was, um, you know how cats like sit on their belly with their paws in front of them. So he was sitting like that on the rug when I scooped him up and put him in the cat carrier. He was absolutely too weak to like fight off anything. He hardly even meowed on the way. And and so he was just in that position, um, even when I got to the vet. And I had to put the carrier down in the vet to go sign some papers. And when I came back to him, he had like collapsed to his side and he never got up again. Uh, it, all his strength was gone and uh, yeah, it was just time. So um, I was with him at the bitter end and I held his head in my hand as he was uh, going to sleep and then they give him a second injection to stop the heart. 
um, and yes, I cried a little bit, even though he's not my cat, but I strangely got attached to him, but, um, yeah. So, um, he's at peace, and, uh, that little bit of stress is now out of my life. So, I haven't done much crocheting in the last few days, uh, not because I was too sad to crochet or whatever, but there's just a lot going on around here. Um, like yesterday, my next door neighbor, the grandmother of the 10 kids that I made the Afghans for, um, she had some of the kids and grandkids down, and so I spent part of the day with them. And now they've all gone even further south to get together as a family. And I said, please, please send me pictures of all the kids with their Afghans. So uh, when they get them, I will post pictures probably in the next video. Um, I think that they were a little concerned. They didn't have much to give the kids this year and the grandkids. And maybe they had made some sort of packed among themselves they weren't going to exchange gifts so she was real happy to have the afghans to put under the tree and i said well but they're not christmas gifts they're just it just so happened i finished them now and she said oh, it doesn't matter we'll put them under the tree for the kids so i i thought well okay that's fine um so uh, uh what else well I have searched through, I think, about 1,600 quarters in the last few days. So, ugh, this thing is a ton. Okay, so, like, this is 19 rolls right here. They've already been searched. And yesterday, I found my very first, uh, let's see, I'll take it out. I don't know what the mintage is on this, but it's not very high, I can tell you that. Now this is a, a 2019 quarter. It's the San Antonio Mission. You can find them, they're very common. You can find them in your change, probably. But what you won't find is the W Mint Mark, because that's a quarter that's minted at West Point and I don't know how many were minted, but not a lot. And it's taken me looking through, I think I've done at least 3,000 quarters now, and I only found one. So um, they are out there, but they're hard to find. And I have uh, been working very hard to get my books complete of all the quarters from both Philadelphia and Denver Mints between... 1999 and the present, and we're I'm getting getting there. It's every time I search, I come up with something new. Um, yeah. So, anyhow, that's what I've been doing lately, and um, not much else going on here. So. I will probably talk to you after Christmas and show you some nice, happy little kids with all their Afghans that I've made. So, talk to you later. Bye-bye.